Hi, I'm Alex with Engage Learning. Today we have the always exciting cardboard chair challenge. What you'll need is some flat pieces of cardboard, something to cut with like scissors, a box knife, or an X-Acto blade, some tape, and something to write with like a marker or pencil, as well as a straight edge to help you cut straight. The goal of this project is to design and build a cardboard chair. It should support an adult's weight and it must have a back so no stools or benches. Now for the challenge. With any project, I always like to start with a good sketch. For my chair, I'm going to try to create strength using curvature. Once you have your idea, it's time to get started. To increase difficulty, avoid stacking or doubling your cardboard and instead focus on how to create strength with single ply cardboard through folding, bending, or other joining techniques. To lower the difficulty, try using tape or other adhesives to aid construction. This curve right here will be the chair back and whenever I roll this together, it will give me something like this. I accidentally cut too much right here, so I'm patching it up with some duct tape. Next, we want to form the inner supports. The support should form an X through the center of the chair. I use the height of the seat to determine this length right here. With two identical pieces, we'll then notch it down the center so they connect to make the cross members. Ask your parents for help cutting. Once you've got the two notches, the pieces can fit together. Like that. If you cut it a little too long, you can always trim off the edges. Here, we want additional notches to make sure that the chair can stay as one closed cylinder. For the other side, the notch will need to be on the bottom so that it matches with the top. To make a circle about 16 inches in diameter, I'm going to center this yardstick with a pen and then go to the 8 and slowly also want to cut a slot for the chair back to fit in. So I'll just make a semicircle. And then another one just inside of that. And we're going to cut out this portion right here.
Looks like the chair's holding up pretty well. We can't wait to see what you all come up with, and don't forget to post your results and tag Engage Learning. Happy building!